So yeah, I planked 5 minutes a day for 31 days and this is the results I got. Kaizen Lifestyle <laughs> Hey what's up guys, Kaizen here, so I recently started doing uh, monthly challenges so every month with my subscribers I'm going to do a different challenge and you guys are going to send me pictures of your transformation doing this challenge so yeah this is the first one for March and we planked 5 minutes a day for 31 days so this is what I looked like on uh, day 1 and as you can see, I have uh, some abs. I mean, it's not bad, it's not, it's decent, but I never work out with abs. So on day one, I could hardly do it for three minutes, six. And yeah, this is the muscle it works. So basically the shoulders, the pectoralis, which is the, pe the pecs, uh, the quads and abs and lower back also. So yeah, I could hardly do it for 3 minutes 6 and most of the time I just did 5 sets of 1 minute but then it became uh, easier, maybe a bit too easy so yeah, this is at the end of day 10 so I don't see any changes yet as you can see between day 1 and day 10 but that's okay, it takes more than 10 days so then I started adding weight to my uh, to my plank. So I put books in my backpack, and I think it was like two kg, two or three kg. So now I could do it for two minutes thirty with three kg, which was way more difficult than five minutes on no weights at all. By the way, and yeah, you can see that I'm struggling. Like I have that look on my face, like hey man, I wanna give up, but yeah, I'm not giving up. I'm trying my best every time. Uh, at the end you start shaking and you don't feel your abs as much that's when I, I stopped basically and once again I didn't see much changes so I asked you guys on discord do you see like any difference or is it just me and nothing's changing so Luca, Luca said I had more defined shoulders uh, which is true I really felt my shoulders more at the beginning at, at least Neko said I had more lower abs I don't really see it but yep and more defined V-lines and chest wider which is maybe the chest for some reason I, I stopped going to the gym because it's closed but I can I don't know for some reason my chest seems to be improving <laughs> I, I don't know why it's weird so from day 20 to 31, I could do it for 5 minutes straight, super easily. And um, yeah, this is the timer. Like from day 1 to day 30, I really felt stronger, even if there is not much difference, if that makes sense. But I really was better at body weight exercises like push-ups and just my posture was better. And Maybe I don't look like I gained muscle, but I definitely felt stronger. I don't think my abs were even that hard. Like they became way harder with the challenge. So not much physical change, but definitely I, I could feel a difference. So this is after 31 days. And uh, this is, I think, my best shape ever, even though I haven't been to the gym for, for three weeks, which is weird. So day one, day 31, uh, you can see some changes, the V-line, the both V-lines, if that makes sense, and uh, the chest. So now we're moving to subscribers uh, transformation. This is Danny on Discord 307 and his stomach definitely became flatter. Maybe it's the angle, but I, I think there is a change. The second person is Sen FP, who is a really nice person, always supporting people on Discord, so I like that. And his shoulder seems to be a bit wider, and maybe the V-line also. It's always the V-line. Then we have Oscar G25. I think he's French, so yeah, another French on the Discord. And his shoulder and chest seems to have improved, and maybe a bit of abs, but definitely more the shoulders and chest. We also have this person, so the lighting is a bit different, but you can definitely see that the abs are more defined, and you can see them better. Then we have 0611 Z-Man, and this is one of the best, I think, transformation. So as you can see, he became slimmer, and his chest and, again, shoulders widened. I mean, they look more defined, and all of them are great, but don't get me wrong, but this one is the one where I see the most changes. 
So then we let's talk about the benefits of planking. So from my perspective at least, uh, it helped me to get more defined abs, shoulders and chest. And I became better at push-ups and pull-ups. Every body weight exercises, I could stabilize myself better. Um, I was swinging less when doing pull-ups. I was always bending forward, but with the plank, I guess I'm stretching more. I'm, I'm more like I'm sitting against the chair. I'm not leaning forward anymore. So then we have the disadvantages. So it doesn't target obliques on lower abs, I think. Definitely not obliques at least. So if you want a six spike defined, uh, I don't think you can do it with just the plank. Uh, no, you cannot do it with just the plank. It gets too easy after a while. The challenge was to do it for five minutes a day, but at the end, five minutes a day was too easy, even with the backpack. So yeah, I definitely feel like increasing the time would be beneficial for progressive overload. I think you get better results if you combine it with dynamic abs exercise. So exercises that target the obliques and the lower abs at least. I pro challenge. So for I pro we are doing 50 burpees a day. So yeah, if you want to do it, join my discord. The link will be not down in the description. And yep, see you guys. I ain't close doors, I'm a fool for your life.